I was with them anywhere they went. Any dimension that they went into, I followed them and I was kept and I was held by them. I'm Ryan Kelly Cameron and I'm the writer and director of The Black Boys Who Have Considered Suicide When Your Hue Gets Too Heavy. And I'm here in the Samuel French bookshop to talk about some books that I like. Chewing Gum Dreams by Michaela Cole. Even before I started playwriting, this was a play that kind of allowed me to know that I can be visible, that the stories that were coming from disenfranchised communities, working class communities, people that grew up in the ends, that we could have some of our shows on at some of the biggest stages in the world. And uh, it was writing that really just transfixed me. I took us on a journey and uh, it spoke something that was so poignant of that time. And it's so nostalgic to go back to it. And obviously seeing where Michaela's gone since, it's a very, very special piece. So, um, chewing gum dreams, man. Uh, <laughs> Constellations by Nick Payne. It's one of those plays that, as a young writer, allows you to know that you can create something that's crazy, where the form is completely out of this world and it can go places. Um, it also allowed me to understand what were the most important things about a play. Uh, character development. These are two characters, one's a beekeeper, one's a scientist. Two subject matters that I'm not interested in at all, but I was with them anywhere they went. Any dimension that they went into, I followed them and I was kept and I was held by them. And um, you know, this play could have been about two people that look after elephants. I would have still been as invested as I was in this play because um, it's real and the characters are real and they, and they, and they feel like people that you would meet or people that you know. And that's the kind of, if I'm gonna read or watch a love story, that's the kind of love story that I wanna read, you know, something that feels re relatable. And um, Nick Payne did that, you know, and the form really allowed us to kind of go, you can literally go out of the world into another universe with your form and we'll follow you. Uh, so yeah, one of my favorites, Constellations. I actually don't know where they are for real. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> we've got um, Random um, by one of my favourite playwrights of all time, Debbie Tucker Green, uh, who I was fortunate enough to, to work on for Black Boy. She actually helped me do a bit of dramaturgy on that. But um, it was the first um, solo show slash monologue that I'd ever read. And I think my fear with monologues was uh, it would be boring you know, one person playing loads of different characters, I was like, can it really be done? And can it be done in a way that really could um, change my mind on it? And I, I read random and I was so transfixed by the story um, of someone that lost their young brother. And just the way that there'd be writes in this kind of rhythm, it was like a song. It was a uh, comedy and tragedy. And um, I just didn't know you were allowed to do that. And I remember reading this and going, okay, I've got this concept for, um, a play called Typical, and I was like, okay, this gave me the courage to go, I can have someone on stage for over an hour and their story's gonna be able to be told and we're gonna be able to get the comedy and the drama and the rhythm of life. Um, yeah, this was trailblazing stuff and it's one of my favorite plays. Okay. Cool, um, Misty by uh, Arinze Kenney one of my favorite plays. Arinze didn't create a uh, gig there, but he, he was a pioneer. He, he took it to somewhere that it had never been before and literally created a platform for a whole generation of artists to come on afterwards and take that form and do whatever they needed to do with it. And um, it's a story of, a, I believe it's a story of a, a young writer dealing with anxiety in a world that's changing and trying to really get to grips with it. And at that particular time, it was something where li literally every line was like, yep, I know exactly what that feels like to deal with an agent or a producer. And it was beautiful just seeing it on stage, seeing someone, a master at work. You know, when you watch uh, Misty, what Arenze does with it is it, it makes it very hard to see how anybody else could ever do this part. Um, it's something that is written for him. Poetry, uh, storytelling, song, verse, it's everything, man. It's a, it's a true modern masterpiece. And uh, yeah, this is 
my own copy, uh, my children scribbles are in it uh, as proof. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm happy with my, my purchases. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get these, but obviously not this one, I already own it. But um, I'm gonna get these and go. Thank you, Royal Court and Samuel French. Anytime. I'm sorry, I'm just talking. Um, <laughs> I cut it way before. <laughs>